Hi Aquarius, this is your January 9th through January 15th weekly tarot reading I do. Five separate spreads in my weekly readings. We'll have a spread on new love, a separate spread on love in an existing relationship or marriage. I'll do an X spread. We'll talk about your work, your business and your finances. And we'll see what you're not expecting to happen this week. Please like, share and subscribe to support this channel. This first spread is on new love this week. We have the Eight of Swords, clarified by the King of Cups. We have the Moon. We have the Three of Cups, clarified by the Ace of Cups. In the potential outcome, we have the Queen of Swords with the Nine of Cups and the Two of Cups. And we also have the Page of Swords on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with a uh, Water Sign, Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces, or pretty much any Zodiac Sign. I usually go with a King or a Queen if one shows up. We got both. <laughs> we got you, the Queen of Swords, the first card in the potential outcome. Male or female, absolutely doesn't matter. And the person you're dealing with is the King of Cups, all the way to your left, clarifying the Eight of Swords. So what I noticed right away, actually two things. One thing is that this person is either spying on you, keeping tabs on you, if you already met them, or after the two of you meet, you, after the two of you get introduced and acquainted, they are, you're not going to be hearing from them right away. They will be <laughs> spying on you and keeping tabs on you. That, not in a creepy way. That's one thing I noticed. Another thing I noticed is that this whole spread revolves around some kind of an event that is coming up. Either this week or the week after. That's by the end of um, January. For some of you, if you are an early Aquarius, and if your birthday is in January, at the end of January, it could be your birthday <laughs> that everything is revolving around. If it's not your birthday, there's still some kind of an event, either this week or the week after. Right, we've got three of cups and the nine of cups. The three of cups, kind of in the middle, right there, is in the main spread on the left, and the nine of cups is in the um, potential outcome. You know, in some tarot decks, the nine of cups literally looks like a party. There is literally a table with food and beverages on it. Or in some other decks, there's people actually celebrating with balloons and stuff. And the three of cups in the middle, I believe in this case, is also some kind of an event, party, gathering, celebration, social event, concerts, um, I don't know, perhaps you're going to go to a museum. <laughs> Who knows? I go to museums every once in a while. I'm that old, yes. Um, but And that, that's what I think it's all about. Everything is revolving around some kind of an event, and this person, I think, is waiting for that event. All right? And they're overthinking and watching you. Okay? The, the Eight of Swords, the first card I came out, that is clarified by the King of Cups. The Eight of Swords is a card of somebody who is stuck, trapped, most likely in their own thoughts. They're thinking and even overthinking. Right? And uh, the King of Cups is the person who is doing all that. The King of Cups, like I said earlier, could be a water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces, or somebody with a lot of water in their chart. If they're not a water sign, they could be somebody who is mature in control of their emotions. Perhaps this person has a hard time expressing themselves. That happens too with the King of Cups. The Page of Swords on the bottom of the deck all the way to your right. This is a card of spying, right? But again, not in a creepy way. Perhaps, like I said, you guys are going to become friends on social media or perhaps this is somebody who is already in your life, you, somebody who is in the same gym, somebody who works with you. You get the idea. Somebody you see every once in a while or perhaps even every day. We have the Moon right next to the Eight of Swords, to, to your left. If this person is a Pisces, it makes total sense. The Moon is a Pisces major arcana card. But the Moon is a card of a secret, right? So this is a secret admirer. They're secretly watching you, updating um, that social media page, refreshing it every five seconds to see if you've posted anything. Well, I'm, I'm, I'm over-exaggerating, but again, you get the idea. And then here comes that Three of Cups, right? The Three of Cups, like I said, that's what they are, I think, waiting for. Some kind of an event that uh, they know you're going to be attending. Or for some of you, like I said, it could be your birthday <laughs> at the end of January. And uh, that's where they plan to express themselves or show you in some way that they are in love with you. And they really are. The Ace of Cups, clarifying the Three of Cups, is all about genuine, authentic love. Okay? So perhaps they have prepared some kind of a big, major gesture for you. In the potential outcome, we have you, the Queen of Swords, then we have the Nine of Cups. Again, the Nine of Cups is a, often a card of some kind of a celebration. It's also a card of a wish come true and a card of personal satisfaction and fulfillment. But for me personally, it strikes more like some kind of an event. It's just the way of the universe 
to kind of show you the importance of this event. And that's why the Three of Cups and the Nine of Cups showed up. The Two of Cups right next to the deck is a card of a soulmate connection, but you see how there's two people, I don't want to, like they're cheering, right? Just like the uh, Three of Cups, they're, you know, raising glasses, perhaps. Again, that is what's going to be happening at that party or event or what have you. The Two of Cups is an amazing card. It's not only a soulmate card, it's a card of when two people are on the same page, two people... Um, you know, have the same feelings towards one another. So, and since it's in the potential outcome, that's what this King of Cups is hoping for. All right. So, yeah, you've got some kind of an event coming up, and I think that's where and when this King of Cups is going to make their move. And by make their move, I, they will either straight up confess their love to you, or they will do something for you. For in and uh, as a result of that, you will understand that they have a lot of emotions for you. All right, really happy for you, Aquarius. Congratulations. Aquarius, if you'd like to see the extended for this new love spread, the link is in the description box down below. In the extended, I'll do a couple of more spreads, maybe three spreads. We'll see how it plays out. We'll definitely take a look at what to expect between you and this person moving forward, and then we'll get you an advice for this whole situation. Aquarius, if you are already married or if you're in a relationship, this part is for you. We have the Lovers, uh, we have the Page of Wands clarified by Strength, we have the Eight of Wands clarified by the Magician, and we also have the Knight of Wands on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with a Gemini or a Fire Sign, Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius, but most likely you're dealing with the <laughs> your person, whatever their zodiac sign is. You know, it took me a, a minute. I was just sitting there looking at this. I didn't clarify the page and the eight of ones right away. I clarified the page and then I looked at it. And then I clarified the eight of ones and I looked at it some more. A lot can be happening here. This spread could be interpreted in so many ways, but I will just focus on the on the scenario that comes through the most. I think either you or your person really want to do something start something, go somewhere, try something new, perhaps they have an idea, um, and they will try to get you on board. They will try to talk you into it. They will try to present it to you in a way that you would also want it. That's how I see it. Again, this spread could be interpreted multiple ways, right? And uh, they are really excited about it, and uh, they will try to get you on board. <laughs> right? We got Gemini in the spread twice, by the way. The Lovers could be a Gemini, the Magician could be a Gemini, but the Lovers is a card of a choice, right? Also, the Lovers is uh, one of the best cards when it comes to the actual love connection between two people. It's a card of a soulmate connection, it's a card, in, in my opinion, that is, right? Other tarot readers may disagree, disagree. but in my opinion, the Lovers is the best card in the tarot deck when it comes to the actual love connection between two people. Soulmate card, twin flame connection card, if you believe in that. The lovers could be the lover of your life, and uh, it's just you and them, you know? You and uh, your person, the lovers, a great, a great chemistry you have, a great connection you got going. Right, so here comes the page of once. Most likely it is coming from them, unless you have um, some kind of an idea, you want to do something, you want to try something. Right, the page of wands, this is them approaching you. Um, strength, clarifying it could be a Leo you're dealing with, but strength could be a card of courage. <laughs> Perhaps it's something you haven't tried before, and uh, they have they had to have courage to offer you this. Strength also comes through as a card of pure raw passion. And I'll, ju I'll just leave it at that, <laughs> Aquarius. <laughs> All right? Um, the Eight of Wands, clarified by the Magician. The Eight of Wands, perhaps you, they want to go somewhere, right? Because uh, it's a card of trouble. Also, the Eight of Wands is a card of a lot of communication. All right? And uh, the Magician, again, could be a Gemini. But the Magician is a card of manifestation, and it's also a card of taking action. So, in this case, it may play out as them trying different ways to talk you into it, to get you on board. Because the magician has all the tools they need at their disposal. So they will try one thing, if that doesn't work, they'll try another thing, and so on. The Knight of Wands on the bottom of the deck, um, it's all about passion. It's also a fire sign indicator, Aries, the Aries Edge. But uh, it's all about, I think, them getting all excited, getting all passionate, getting all fired up about this new beginning. 
I hope that makes sense. For some of you it will play out in a slightly different way, for others of you it will play out not in a slightly <laughs> different way, but that's the scenario I see that will uh, that comes through the most. All right? Cool. Let's see if anybody comes back from the past for you Aquarius this week. Uh, keep in mind it could be somebody from a couple of months ago, a year ago, or a couple of years ago, so it doesn't have to be the most recent ex, it doesn't even have to be an ex, it could be somebody from the past. Also keep in mind it could, uh, we still have both Mercury and Mars in retrograde this week. Well, uh, Mars retrograde is over on the 12th, Mercury still continues. And this is when more exes than usual could potentially resurface. We have the Wheel of Fortune, we have the King of Wands qualified by the Three of Wands, we have the Six of Cups, and we also have the the, the Fool <laughs> on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with a Fire Sign, uh, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, or somebody with a lot of Fire in their chart. I'm referring to that King of Wands, the second card that came out. Um, that's the person coming back. And uh, the thing about them, uh, for some of you it is your ex, but for others of you it's just somebody from your past. Because we have the Six of Cups right next to the deck. The Six of Cups plays out either way. An ex or somebody from the past. If we had a judgment card, then I would have been convinced it's, uh, it's an ex. Right? The Wheel of Fortune, the first guy that came out, um, this King of Wands could be a Sagittarius, but they want to either restart a cycle with you if this is your ex, or start a cycle if this is somebody from your past. And um, they've made up their mind about you at some point already, right? The Three of Wands clarifying the King of Wands is a card of somebody who made up their mind, somebody who made a decision. I don't know if you're going to care, but uh, I think they really want you back, or they really want to get... The, to get, get together with you at long last if uh, it's not your ex. The fall on the bottom of the deck could be an Aries you're dealing with, but the fall is either a card of a second chance, just wiping the slate clean, right, starting from scratch, or the fall is, um, you know, a card of taking a leap of faith. <laughs> okay, <laughs> that, they really want to get the. Uh, this show either back on the road with you or to get this moving with you. I don't see any resistance on your part. I didn't want to clarify the Six of Cups and the Wheel of Fortune because uh, we already knew who is coming back to you with that King of Wands. So I think it's going to be up to you what you're going to what you want to do. But I, I think they really want this. They they really do. All right. Let's talk about your work, your business, and your finances. Aquarius this week, we have the Queen of Cups, we have the Star, clarified by the Six of Wands, we have the Eight of Wands, clarified by the Queen of Wands, and we also have the Ace of Swords on the bottom of the deck. Um, let me start with the things I see and the things I do not see. What I do see here is a whole bunch of people, right? The Queen of Cups, the Queen of Wands, right? Um, it could be more than just two people involved here, but we're definitely see a couple of people besides you, right? Uh, it's just that uh, we ran out of space on the table. <laughs> what I don't see, I do not see any confrontation, I do not see any conflict. I do see a victory card, that's six of ones. Speaking of victory, one other thing I see is the only major arcana card on the table is the star, and that is your major arcana card, Aquarius. That's you, represented here in your highest vibration. Okay, and your card, the star is clarified by the six of ones, which is a card of victory, but at the same time, it's a card of somebody who is um, in the center of attention. Somebody who is being awarded, somebody who is being recognized. You could be the leader here, right? And perhaps you're leading some kind of an effort or some kind of a new beginning. Or perhaps this is just a post factor, right? This is you winning, and um, there is no more confrontation. Perhaps you're the one who is being chosen for something. You're the one who is being promoted. You're the one who is uh, getting some kind of an award. Right? And uh, those two other queens, they're just cheering you up. <laughs> or, again, there could be some kind of a new beginning. The Ace of Swords on the bottom of the deck, that is your Ace. Right? In the, um, the Queen and the King of Swords hold up a, a sword. That's exactly the sword we see in the Ace of Swords. Right? That's you. It's a card of a new beginning, it's a card of clarity, it's a card of somebody who is not playing or fooling around. And uh, the Eight of Wands is either a card of communication or perhaps you're all going somewhere with that Eight of Wands, right? And uh, what I'm trying to say is that there's a whole bunch of people, you're represented by your major arcana card, right? And uh, you're feeling good, you're feeling victorious, you're feeling like you're in the center of attention. Okay. All right? 
helpful. Let's see what you're not expecting to happen this week, Aquarius. We have the uh, Ten of Wands clarified by the Hangman, we have the Six of Pentacles, we have the Ten of Pentacles, and we also have the Eight of Wands on the bottom of the deck. I can interpret this spread a couple of different ways. It could be directly or indirectly related to you, in, in some way. We do have a choice that somebody has to make, and most likely that would be you. <laughs> For others of you, in scenario number two, this is somebody else who is making that choice, right? So, if um, something in your life has been stuck, if uh, a decision that has to be made or a choice that has to be made is not up to you, perhaps this week it will finally move forward. Perhaps you didn't expect it to move forward, perhaps you thought it will never move forward, and this week there's going to be, you've guessed it, a forward movement. <laughs> For others of you, it may have to be you who has to make a difficult choice. And it is a difficult choice, right? So we got the uh, Ten of Wands clarified by the Hangman. The Ten of Wands is a card of a burden. It's something that's taken a toll on us, something that's tough, right? Uh, the Hangman clarifying it is a card of stagnation. And it's a card of something just sits uh, and not moving and, and it's not moving anywhere, right? So here comes the Six of Pentacles in the middle. Somebody has to make a choice. This card often does come through as a card of a choice, right? You see how there's a person standing up, standing in the middle, right? Then there's also two people kind of sitting down on the side. So, yeah, the person standing up has to make a choice. Not necessarily between two people. Between two whatever, okay? Um, the Eight of Wands on the bottom of the deck is a card of communication or a card of travel. So I think this is where the breakthrough comes in. Right? Then the Ten of Pentacles right next to the deck. <coughs> it could be a card of real estate. It could be a card of um, finances in some shape or form. Or it could be a card of a family or committed relationship or just marriage in general. Right? So I think that's what this choice is all about. And it has to do with a Ten of Pentacles, right? Real estate, <laughs> commitment, marriage, or something about the money, okay? And uh, it could play out in so many different ways depending on your particular situation. But again, what you're not expecting is either you having to make a difficult choice or somebody or a company um, is finally making the choice this week and uh, they will let you know. Or if you are the one making the choice, you will have to communicate what you've chosen. Alright, so that's what I have for you Aquarius for this reading for this week. If this video resonates with you, please like it. Please also share and subscribe. And uh, other than that, Aquarius, have an amazing week.